Wait, what? This is the same song? Huh. <laughs> I didn't... Really? Okay. Sure. I mean, well... well <laughs> I mean, I'm not complaining. Sure, I mean, just use the same theme for... You know what? Let's introduce this to the lyrics. Sure, why don't we use the same theme for three different backgrounds of memory? Yeah, freeze, why don't you just make three themes? Just make three thumbnails for a single theme lasting over two, lasting over an entire season of my memory, my memory of that matchy, of that matchy. Is it wrong to try to pick? Up girls in a dungeon and I don't go not kun Why don't you use the same exact song? Why did they not realize this back back then when we were on the rise? When when he was on his downfall and he slowly rose and solved and solved all those problems that he had created. Did for everyone back in the day, back in the day, back in the day, oh back back in the day, yeah yeah yeah, boom 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 boom. Ah, folks. To a much happier note. Welcome to a much happier note. Uh, <laughs> memory, uh, please. Uh, Y3, dude, I have never watched uh, Jack po Jackbox Party Games? Is that what, I think that's what it's called. I've never watched anyone play Jack po Jackbox Party Games or whatever it's called. Dude, I've heard about it. I've heard like a million people have played it. Never cared to watch it because I thought it was all horror related. Dude, dude, Carl Jacobs are a Mr. Beast Minecraft streamer guy. On the Dream SMP type guy, you know, man fought against Mexican Lamanberg kind of guy, you know? Yeah, he, um, actually, was he a part of that? Whatever. Yeah, him. He, um,. He's been streaming with, like, Dream and, and Sapnet, you know, the, the Dream team and, and George Not Found and Corpse and recently uh, Skeppy and Bad Boyella. And <laughs> I've seen clips of, like, them playing it uh, over the course of, like, a month. Um, and I was like, wow, that's so cool. Like, they're dissing each other and all that. And so I'm like, maybe I should watch one of their streams. And so I did that last night. Dude, it's so, it looks so much fun. And I didn't know that the chat could interact with it. Oh, that's so cool. I might actually, I might actually uh, be tempted to catch one of those streams and roll along, and roll along with the chat. <laughs> the chat. Why did I say, why did, why did I say chat like that? I said chat. I think, wait, isn't, isn't chat, uh... How you, uh... Isn't chat French for, for cat? I feel like I've heard of that somewhere. Shep. Right? Cat, Shep. No, if anybody knows French, can... <laughs> I, I, I know, I don't, I don't know. I just, I, I, that, that just came out of my head for some reason. I, 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 in my head, not out of my head. What am I talking about? Folks, it's Memory Afris. Uh, episode 995 or 6, I think. I'm forgetting. Um, we're coming upon the day. Uh, I haven't recorded uh, a lot. I still haven't even finished recording stuff uh, with PK. Um, I have... Uh, I still have a bit of homework that I need to get done. Um, and by a bit, I mean a lot. Um... So yeah, I, I I didn't mention it last episode. I've been I've been reading Hamlet, and um, or we're starting to read Hamlet in my English class, and uh, I have to answer a lot of questions on the scenes on like each scene in Act One, um, 
and there and there's this one scene that has 11 goddamn questions i'm like uh and then the other questions are like seven questions or you know there's this one that like i'm really fortunate that's just three questions three not 30 i, I think and then yeah it's a it's easy but it's not um because it takes a bit you know it takes a it takes a while uh but the thing is that like that's the that's the huge that's like the final large obstacle I kind of have in the way um that uh that's kind of preventing me from continuing how do you say uh making episode 1000 a reality um and so maybe what I'm maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll finish that up tonight um, also, I, was, I also have some other little homeworks, um, but I'm gonna, I'm not too worried about them. I'm not, I'm not too worried. Um, but yeah, um, my plan is to just work on episode 1000 throughout the entire weekend, if I haven't already said that, like, 12 times already. Um, and then the last, in the last few episodes of, uh, of the Triple Digit Saga, um, I, mean, I don't know what to do, man. I, I just don't know. I mean, I just love to rant, you know? Um, you know, I'm sure we could, I'm sure I could do a big episode, where I just do homework in the background. Um. And maybe that could be it. Um. Have a good old. Have a good old homework episode. Um. Where I guess I just. I, I don't know. What. I mean what would I really do. Would I just do some battles. Some. But Do we have a. What's out right now. Oh, okay, we have our trials seventh zone. We got a new record buster still around. Uh, let's check. No, but war games here. Oh, that'd be good. We haven't had a war game in a while. Y'all wanna? Y'all wanna do war game? Y'all wanna? Y'all wanna try to win a war game? Uh, while I, while I do some homework. That could be fun. I could. I could. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? Let's let's do that. Yeah. Um. Let me just let me just get myself some waters, cause I'm uh your boy's kind of low on waters. Um. You know what? You know what we'll do. Okay, this is gonna be perfect. All right. What we're gonna do. Because I actually have not had my dessert, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna have my little nu uh, Nutella and Go plus breadsticks dessert, and um, I'll be back with y'all in just a hot second. Also, if you're wondering why I have Wealth as the background character, even though I'm pretty sure you always wonder why there's a new character in the background for every episode uh, that's been passing by the last like 25. Um, I'll, I'll give you an actual explanation for this one. It's because Welf is hardworking. Sure, everybody else in Memoria Face is, hard, is hardworking, but come on, Bell's a blacksmith. Not Bell. Welf's a blacksmith, alright? And, and I mean, he spent three days locked up in his, in his, in his black, in, in his, uh, uh, what was smithery? Yes. <laughs> in his, uh, in his, in his smithery. And, uh, and he, and he, and he smelted and, and smithed three magic swords and so just just like wealth i will i too will work hard through through day and night uh storm and all call it a wealth episode you know <laughs> let's call it that all right i'll be right back in a hot second folks folks i kid you not i i uh hold on let me lower this so you don't accidentally hear it and youtube doesn't Copy strike me. Folks, yeah, um, so, I've been listening to a lot of Spotify stuff, um, in, well, 
since I, uh, since I guess, you know, got Spotify Premium, uh, you know, I've been listening to, to different artists and whatnot, um, and I, and I've told y'all, I've told y'all that I'm, you know, I'm listening, yeah, I, I've listened to Say Cara, Snail's House, um, I'm listening to this really good, I've been listening to this really good, uh, soundtrack called Return to Bird World, but then I realized, oh wait, uh, I, I realized, oh wait, there's other soundtracks, like, it's just not, it's just not Undertale, like, there's, there's more albums, you know, not just Return to Bird World, there's more, and so the other day, I was watching, uh, you're never gonna believe me. I was watching a Dream SMP stream, and uh, basically Tommy put on this new song that I've never heard before in my life, but it sounded familiar. And then he said it was a Cuphead song, and I'm like, oh yeah, Cuphead was a game. And it sounded like so bombastic, and I completely forgot how bombastic Cup uh, Cuphead soundtrack was. So that's what I'm listening to now. Um, so yeah. <laughs> So yeah, get ready, get ready for a for a hell of an episode, folks. Because the <laughs> look, all I'm saying is that I'm gonna be doing economics homework, <laughs> and I'm also, <laughs> and you know, since I'm also listening to the Cuphead soundtrack, I mean that that's just the perfect recipe. And also War Game, so I mean that's just the perfect recipe for a perfect title. That's the perfect recipe for for a. For a great title. What, what, what is it going to be, folks? Is it going to be... Is it wrong? <laughs> is it wrong to learn economics while being chased by the devil? <laughs> is it wrong to learn economics in the middle of a war game? Uh... While listening to a soundtrack, I don't know that 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 sounds like a that sounds like a long title. Anyway, I'm gonna continue listening, uh, and I'm probably gonna sound really loud, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna bring that up just in case, um, cause I know I'm gonna be really loud because I have my headphones on and whatnot, so I actually can't hear the music of the game uh, as much as usual. So, yeah, um, dual page bookmarks, so I'm just trying to figure out how to, ah, uh, there you go, I'm trying to figure out how to, how to use this thing, man, um, do I want to write down, do I want to be a, a bit of a, a bit of a person, Hmm. I'm debating whether I should, um, like, write, um, uh, like, definitions for things or not when it comes to economics or reading the economic book, uh, that our teacher has given us. I, I really don't know. Because my only homework for the class right now is just to answer some questions. But honestly... I feel like, I don't know, man. I feel like doing some doing some note stuffs. Um, I don't really have a. I don't really have a perfect notebook for it. Although you know what, I could just do this. This is this is called the the foundation of economics, right? That's what this chapter is called, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Alright, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Let's do that. Alright, so... Um... The only problem is that I don't... It doesn't... The only thing I don't really like about the some of these online textbooks is that it won't allow you to, like, scroll down as easy. Or, like, really, at all. Um... Which really sucks. Cause I like when you're able to do that. I'm a, I'm a bit of a fan of that. If y'all didn't know. Um. Hmm. 
Hmm. Uh, page scale. Man, this is... Why, why must school not, not work? This is gonna be frustrating for a bit. Uh, settings, appearance, light mode. Ooh, okay, yeah, dark mode. I don't, your boy wants that dark mode. I'm gonna be able to breathe better. Uh, although I still, I, I can't move this up and down. This, this is very scuffed. I am, uh, I really can't, like, I, I don't know what to say, folks, like, okay, well, I'm not actually gonna show, but, <laughs> I don't, I can't scroll down, dude, what am I supposed to do, what is this? What is this? What is this scam? I'm just gonna have to read this, the very fine print. Oh. Alright, well, I mean, at least I'll... At least that should be good. Alright. I'm gonna start reading, folks, after like seven minutes. Alright, also, are we gonna get a 10 out of 10? We're gonna get 10 wins out of 10? Just from doing, uh, war games? That'd be great. That would be very, very great. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be teaching y'all some stuff about economics, actually, uh, or at least just you know key terms. So uh, you know, uh, welcome, welcome to uh, to Professor Yosset, uh, <laughs> to Professor Yosset's class. Uh, today I'm gonna I'm gonna teach y'all how to be promoted from Perseus three to Perseus one. Uh, using the foundation of economics key terms. All right, folks. Um, make sure you got your <laughs> your notebooks at the ready <laughs> because this is gonna be a long lesson. All right. A want is something that we desire to have. Resources are needed to produce the goods. And sir, man, I, I sorry. <laughs> the music that's playing in, like the cuphead set like what's this song called elder kettle is the greatest song to hear like to play in this exact moment it's so good <laughs> look up elder kettle in the uh <laughs> in the cuphead soundtrack and that's legit what like and and just imagine me Saying everything that I'm about to say while listening to that. You know, I'm I'm actually gonna repeat the song. <laughs> and I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in an old timey in an old manly voice kind of thing. All right, hold on. A want is something that we desire to have. Resources are needed to produce the goods and services that satisfy our wants. They're limited. Um, and I have to write the other one. Hold up. Uh, scarcity. I wish I knew what soundtrack. Like what music I could play in these videos besides Memoria Fris. Uh, so I won't get copyrighted or so, so I wouldn't get copyrighted but I still could like enjoy it. Do you, do you, I think you'll get what I'm saying. Uh, are greater than the uh I'm gonna be honest, folks. Before before I continue with uh, with the lesson, um, 
I was originally thinking, uh, while well, I was on a little break having my, having my Nutella, I was thinking, man, I should, I should live stream this because I don't have enough storage on my phone. Uh, this is probably going to be a large episode, but then I'm like, you know, you know what? Uh, no, no, I think I'll, uh, <laughs> I think I'll do quite the opposite. So yeah, that's where we are. Um, okay, trade-off, is it a situation? Oh, yeah, no, I, so continuing. Scarcity is the condition in which our wants are greater than the resources available to satisfy them. An opportunity, <coughs> an opportunity cost is the most valued opportunity or alternative we can give up, we give up when we make a choice. Affects and affects people's decisions every day. A trade-off is a situation in which more of one thing necessarily means less of something else. That is all for right now. <laughs> because I need to write other definitions. Also, I need to read this, so... Uh, oh, no! No! We did a 13 win streak, and then we finally fall. No! Wait... 15? No, that's a 19! What am I talking about? No, wait, no, that's 13. Am I just blind? Homie be blind. <laughs> Homie be blind. Okay. Uh, let's do balance. Okay. Uh... Okay, so... All the wants of all the people in the world make the list of wants unlimited. That is true. Why am I defeated? Oh man, I d I don't want to be defeated. Uh, let's do debuff. Yeah, why not? <sighs> um, how do people satisfy their wants? As you probably know, most cases you cannot get something by just wishing for it. The things we want to do, what we want. Do not simply appear on our doorsteps because we desire them. Instead, resources are needed to produce the goods and services that satisfy our wants. I actually like reading this, I'm gonna be honest. This. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just very basic stuff and very like, uh, like it's starting out very basic and very like, uh, what do you, what, what do you call it? Like common knowledge? Not common knowledge, but like, uh, logical. Basics. But it's entertaining. I mean, I never realized how good Cuphead soundtrack was. Oh my, it's so good. <sighs> I can't believe that I didn't. I can't, it's been two years, man. No, actually, it's been like three years or four years since Cup had released. It's crazy. Um, alright. Did we win that round? I don't even know. I think we lost that round, but whatever. We're, I mean, yeah, okay, let, let me continue focusing. Um, resources are limited. Unfortunately, the world's supply of resources is limited. So when you want a new desk, or Nanette wants a computer, you both face an ongoing problem in life. And we all face an economic problem. Our wants are unlimited, but the resources available to satisfy these wants are limited. Stated another way, people's wants are greater than the limited resources available to satisfy them. This condition in which our wants are greater than the resources available to satisfy them is called scarcity. Uh, 
You know, that's, that's actually what I'm just going to do. I'm just, I, like, every so often, when I feel like reading something out loud, I'm just going to read it out loud for an, an, uh, a desirable amount of time. And then I'll just read <laughs> the other half just complete. Okay, we need to actually start winning here, folks. Uh, oh, no, 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 we got we got a win, I think. <laughs> Did we? Yeah, we got two wins. We're doing good. 83%. Uh, let's do a heal. I think that, I think that's what we're gonna need. Okay. And then I'll continue reading. Oh. Uh. In fact, scarcity is such an important fundamental economic concept that some economists have said that the science of economics wouldn't exist. Or not for scarcity. That's interesting. Now that's interesting. That's real. Okay. Um. Oh, I gotta move. I gotta move the page up, guys. Oh God, that's so. Could I change the percent manually? No, I can't. I'm not... Hey, her him is using Uchuni. Uh, yeah, the thing. I, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. Um. The problem, though, is that even if we could satisfy the, all the wants just listed, we'd be faced with more later. Even if we provided more health care to the poor, hired more police officers, built more schools and cleaned up the environment we would still discover other things to do speaking of other things to do dude the freaking flower yeah the botanic panic dude botanic panic is also a really pog song in the cuphead soundtrack oh bot no wait no no it's floral freer i think yeah it's it's floral fury that's like an absolute bop i mean everything's an absolute bop in this thing but floral flurry i think is the is the one that uh, that Tommy put on his stream yesterday because he was like, he 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 has a certain item that he's very 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 happy about and he used it like a lot, uh, and he just put on a Cuphead song or a Floral Flurry, and it w I mean dude, if you told me Tommy and it is a child, that's the clip. I mean that scene is what you would like that that's the scene that would convince me that he is a child. <laughs> because oh, you should have just seen it anyway okay folks I'm just gonna say this uh, just ahead of time I'm gonna be silent for like a few minutes because I'm actually just gonna read silently and then maybe it maybe if I find something interesting so yeah just I mean you'll have the music and memory after you right? I mean that's the whole thing yeah, you're fine. In fact, I'll even put it... No, 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 I'll put it... I'll keep it like there, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Two streaks. Okay. Yeah, so... Uh, let's go with ailment. Hey, victory. Let's go with Ailman again.
on defeat. Oh man. Uh, should we go to attack one then? Let's do that. That sounds fun. Uh, okay, cool. How many? I just want to check. How many pages do I have to read again? Oh, okay, we're almost done. Damn. What's our opponent party? We never look at them. Oh, I guess I never clicked on it then. I tried to, but then it's like, nope, you must continue to the game. Don't mess with King Dynasty. Don't mess with King Dynasty. Don't mess with King Dynasty. Don't mess with King. Da 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 King dies. Boom boom. Don't mess with kingdoms. Don't mess with me. Don't mess with kingdoms. Don't mess with me. I've never heard that song ever. I don't know how I sang that. Oh, you know it's a really good song in the in the soundtrack. It's Barbershop Quartet. That's really good. I hope that comes up soon. Um, you know, I'll actually, I'll say this. I'll say it because I've been, I, I kind of just been distracted by either the game or the the song. I'll read in this one. Uh, every, <clears throat> and I'm not gonna do old man voice. I'm gonna be, <laughs> I'm just gonna be doing uh. Uh, regular voice. Um, wait. A chew. A chew. A chew. A chew. A chew. No. Wait. No. Out. Out. No. Oh, God. I missed it. Oh, God. It's, guys, it's so sad. Um, let's debuff again. All right. Every time you make a choice, such as choosing to buy a sweater instead of two CDs, you face an opportunity cost. The most valued opportunity uh, or alternative you give up or forfeit to do something is that opportunity cost. Well, okay. Thus, the opportunity cost of your choosing to buy a sweater is two compact dis discs. Economics often say that life is full of trade-offs. What do they mean by this statement? The nature of a trade-off is that you can get more of one good, but only by getting less of another good. Speaking about trade-offs is just another way of speaking about opportunity costs. In other words, saying that life is full of trade-offs is really no different from saying that every time we choose one thing over another, we incur an opportunity cost. That's all, that's all I'm going to read right now. Also, we're about to get absolutely wrecked by Goblin Slayer. Oh, maybe? Wait, are we going to win this? We might win. It's all up to, to big ol' Aaron. Oh, that was powerful. 
I think we might win this, folks. Although, Toka and, and Wolf are down. Yeah, okay. Um, an equally good chance at winning, maybe. Can Aaron and Haruhime clutch? Clutch this up? Nope. Nope, yeah. We lost that one. Good battle, then. Alright. Let's, um... Let's do a heal. Hey, Perseus too. That was the right play then. Okay, now this, now this, I wanna, I wanna read to y'all. Um, because my teacher said that it was, uh, it was an important thing, and also it kind of looks interesting. So, uh, if y'all don't know who Chris Rock is. Yeah, he's an actor, right? I think I'm right about that. I'm a little confused because I... Because there's also a, um, a, an artist by a similar name, I th think. Okay, yeah, he is a, he is an actor. All right. Oh, no, oh, he is a comedian. He's an actor and a comedian. Okay. He's a comedic af actor, if you will. Okay. So we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna teach y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all. Why didn't Cri wait? Is this it? Is this it? Oh no! Wait. Oh no! We're close to it. We're we're close to Floral Fury. Right now, right now we're listening to the threatening Zeppelin. Oh, it's so good. Man, these songs are long. The soundtrack is like ages long. Maybe one. I forgot. I didn't actually. It's not that I forgot. I didn't know that that Cuphead soundtrack was this was this long. Like, damn. It's, uh, it's taken a while. I know the I know the soundtrack said it was like two hours, but god diggity damn. Alright. Alright. I'm gonna teach y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all why Chris Rock uh didn't go to college. Um so Chris Rock. How do I, I, I should I do this in a voice? Uh no no, you know, <sighs> Dude, how? D victory already, huh? Huh? Four streak? Pog? 23 wins? Holy lord. Alright. So, Chris Rock was born on February 7th, 19. I can't read. 66. In Andrews, Cal South Carolina. Many of his early years were spent in the neighborhood of Bedford. Bedford Stewie Vosent in Brooklyn, New York. Damn, I, I, I can't read. Folks, you gotta understand this text is smaller than life itself. And I mean, life's pretty small. <laughs> um, you know, in, in the grand, you know, in the, in the grand plan of the universe, you know. Uh, in the grand scheme of things, life is really small. Uh, he had two idols. One was boxer Sugar Ray Leonard, and the other was comedian Eddie Murphy. Oh, Eddie Murphy was oh, so cool. He's hilarious, man. 
Uh, let's switch over to buff. Um, realizing that he wasn't much of a boxer, Chris decided to become a comedian like Murphy. One night, Eddie Murphy caught Chris Rock's act at a club. Oh, dude! Imagine being imagine being recognized by one of your idols. Oh, that's so cool. He was so impressed with Rock that he had cast him in his 1987 movie, uh, Beverly Hills Cop 2. And the early... That's awesome, dude. In the early 1900s... Wait, 19... 1990... Sorry. Uh, 1990s, Rock became a regular on television Saturday Night Live. Wait. Wait. Can Discord just shut up? Hold on. Sorry, folks. Like... I'm getting a million messages from the boys saying they're gonna play like Rust and Raft and Valorant, and I don't care. <laughs> I mean, I just don't care right now. Wait, is, is it playing yet? Oh, we have two songs. We have two songs until Floral Flurry. Okay, if I can get this done with, I'm gonna speed run this this thing. Sorry, keep on stopping. Um. Rock became a regular on television Saturday Night Live. Uh, he became he went to he went on to become one of the United States' funniest comedians, doing movies, HBO specials, and more. Rock's hard work and talent began to pay off for him financially, with his earnings far exceeding that of the average twenty-one-year-old. Holy lord, that's, that's awesome! He's twenty-one. Jesus, that's pretty pog. <laughs> While Chris Rock was pers was pursuing his comedy career, many people uh, the same age were attending college. Why didn't Rock go to college? He certainly would have afforded the tuition, and he would have been accepted had he applied. Could it be that could it be that the opportunity cost of attending college was just too high for Chris Rock? Oh, oh. interesting. To understand, think about what it'll cost you to under ten, un attend college. Let's say that room, board, tuition, books, fees, and living expenses add up to two, yeah, twenty thousand dollars a year. Multiplied by four years, that comes to eighty thousand dollars. Is eighty thousand dollars really the full cost of your attending college? What would you do if you didn't go to college? Chances are you'd be earning income working at a job. For example, perhaps you would work a full-time job earning twenty-five thousand dollars a year. Multiplied by four years, so that's one hundred thousand dollars. Certainly, this fortified or this fortified, or this for this forfeited one hundred thousand dollars is part of the cost of your attending college. Even if you earn some money working part time while in school, you will give up. You will give up some earnings. Dude, this is actually like. If y'all are learning anything, I, I'm I'd be so happy if y'all are alright. If y'all are you know, if y'all leave this episode learning a lot, I'm uh I mean that's that's a pretty good episode, you know? Uh let's do balance. We're having a bit of a bit of a rocky a rocky streak of defeats here, you know? Um It's just out of one up versus out of one up. Um how do the earnings you would give up compare to the earnings that someone like Chris Rock would give up? Even though the tuition board and other the tuition room board and other costs of attending college are roughly the same for everyone who attends the same college, the opportunity costs will not be. Some people have higher opportunity costs of attending college than others do. Can you see how it was simply too costly for Chris Rock to attend college? Yeah, it's actually Yeah, I can. That was actually very, very interesting to read. Also, we're like a song away from Floral Fury. Oh, I'm so excited. We're getting into the we're getting into the feel of uh of the Floral Fury boss fight. Because now now we're listening to Ruse of a News. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's do Oh. Oh, interesting. Wait a minute. Wait. 
Wait, what if I what if I heal with you? What if you attack all? What if you attack one? Well, that'd be interesting. Ba 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 I finally get to write something. Isn't that amazing? Economic. Right, maybe I'll actually, uh... Maybe I'll actually record, um... Bits of episode 1000 while doing all this. That could be fun. Fourteen defeats, twenty-five wins. <laughs> okay, let's let's bring y'all to uh, to balance again. Oh, we're getting it. We're getting the song. Oh, it's so good. Ah, oh, we're getting it. It's the hype train, folks. Do <laughs> Well, apparently I do have to define all the terms. Oh, but I'm only supposed to do two through nine. Oh, I did it anyway. 
Another win, 27 wins, 28, holy lord, we're really, we're really vibing out here, folks. Let's go. Boom, 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 boom. That was such a good song. What a bang. Another song, too. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Okay, I'm gonna give y'all an example of, uh, of things. Uh, I'm just gonna give y'all an example because I, it's been, it's, it's been ten minutes since I last read anything. So let's, let, let us read as, uh, as I unfortunately lose this battle. Yeah, that's, um, yeah, uh, that one did not turn out good, folks. I'm gonna say that right here, right now. That one did not turn out that well. All right. So, um, here's an example. High school teachers have observed that seniors cut classes more during their final semester than any other time of the year. Well, that's certainly not true for me. Um, does this behavior have a surfer explanation, which is really an opportunity cost explanation? Yes, the opportunity cost explanation says that by the time seniors last semester in high school rolls around, many of them have already been admitted to college. In their minds, missing a class here or there won't do much harm to their chances of getting into college. Let's put it in the way of an, uh, of an economist would. Let's put it in the way an economist would. The opportunity cost of going to class is less after a senior has been admitted to college than before he or she has been admitted to college. Therefore, we should expect a higher a absentee rate among seniors when the opportunity cost of attending class is lower. Be aware, some colleges will grant admission, but on the condition that the student maintains his or her GPA through the end of the year. In this case, the opportunity cost of, atten of attending class is the same before and after the senior is admitted to college. It's a lot of words. Perseus one. See, I'm telling you, folks. I told y'all. I taught y'all. Oh, I'm telling you, Professor. I'm Professor Yasset, folks. I told y'all. Professor Yasset taught y'all how to how to use economics from getting to Perseus three to Perseus one. What did I tell you? Oh. <laughs> okay. It looks like we have a little bit more time left in the class, folks. We're only halfway through the class, even though I don't really plan on making this episode an hour and 30, because that's ridiculous. Um, but we still have a while left, kids, so yay. 
I'm gonna be honest, it usually wouldn't take me this long to to do homework, but I mean, here, here I am. Um, how many wins do we have? Do we have 30 yet? Yeah, we do. It's awesome. I'm genuinely happy that, I mean, how many in total we have? Oh, dude, 1,600. How cool would it be if we could, if we could, if we could be in the tops, in the top board? That'd be awesome, man. A oh, red lotus. Wait, what? Huh? Huh? Okay. I'm drawing war game again. I've used a lot of iris, but you know who cares, man? I'm just having fun. I'm having an absolute blast. All right. Oh, it's the clip joint calamity. Ah, oh, dude. I remember that. That's really good. Where's the, um... How far is... Oh, it's a quick break, ain't it? Is a quick break the... The one I think it is? Maybe. Or maybe it might be... I don't know. We might get to the end of disc one. Because apparently there's discs in this soundtrack. Uh, and so, um, so yeah, currently I am listening to the 15th song on the Cuphead soundtrack, and there's 14 songs after it, and hopefully by the, hopefully by the time we're done with those 14 songs, <laughs> the, uh, the class will have ended, <laughs> you know, but who knows, okay, uh, I'm going to continue reading. Uh, one diagram, three economic concepts. <sighs> you probably heard the saying, a picture is worth a thousand words. With that, in, with that saying in mind, let's look at a diagram that can be used to illustrate the three economic concepts we have discussed thus far. Scarcity, choice, and opportunity cost. The diagram, which is called Possibilities Frontier, or PPF, for short, shows all possible combinations of two goods that an economy can produce in a certain period of time. To keep things simple, we have assumed that only two goods, snowboards and skis, can be produced in an economy. In exhibit, oh yeah, in, in exhibit 1-2 parentheses, open parentheses, a closed parentheses, uh, you see the four. Obviously, you can't. You can't see it. Um, actually, you know what? I could. I could just show you. Um, so, folks, if you're if you're really interested, uh, there there's the exhibit. There there is exhibit uh, one point two one dash two a. So there you go. That's the exhibit. Just a, just a little friendly thing there. Yeah. Okay. So now that you know, now that you know what we're talking about, great. You see four, you see the four different combinations A to D of these two, of these two goods that the economy can produce. For example, it can produce fifty thousand snowboards and zero sets of skis, four thousand forty thousand snowboards and twenty thousand sets of skis, and so on and so forth. We then take each of the four combinations and plot them in an exhibit one two B. If we, slim, if we simply connect these four points, A to D, we have a production possibilities frontier. In other words, the curve you see in Exhibit 1-2B is a production possibilities frontier, also known as PPF. Interesting. That's all I'm going to read for right now, folks, because I have a... I just, I'm going to speed run. All right, I'm going to speed run reading. So, I'm, I mean, I'm really going to be focused now, folks. Where's my water? That's what I need. I'm kind of like... <sighs> I kind of need water. I really hope y'all can hear me. I'm pretty sure y'all can. But, you know. Anyway. <laughs> I might be louder than I think I am, but... Anyway.
We got, we got defeated. I just noticed that. Okay, let's, um... Uh... Let's do heal. We haven't done heal in a while. Yes. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> We're fighting against that Virtus. Or that Fiddler, sorry. That's fine. I think we're gonna win this battle, guys. I think. I believe in. Oh, no, never mind. No, I mean, it's actually impossible now. Oh, wow, we never seen uh, Fels' power. That's cool. Oh, wait, isn't his power to bring someone back from... Wait, 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 wait. Surely not. He doesn't do damage. He brings someone back, doesn't he? Oh, my... I don't know. What do I know, folks? I mean, I never watch the anime, you know? <laughs> uh, okay. I'm now writing another thing down. I might be, I might be, uh, reading in a minute. I really don't have that much left to read, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, which is funny. And look, um, I don't know if I've already said it before, but I'm gonna say it again. I really could have finished this homework quicker if I didn't, if I didn't <laughs> just record an episode. But look, I'm... The fact that I'm recording an episode while doing this makes this all the better. Because <laughs> it's more fun, man. I get to record and I get to do my homework at the same time. So, and I get to listen to the Cuphead soundtrack, dude. Like, what what, what kind of an ep <laughs> what kind of episode is this, dude? Like, this is just so many genres in one. We got, we got, we got note taking, we got, we got war games, we have, uh, background music, we have soundtrack through ears, like, we got two different types of music playing. Well, one that you can't hear. Yeah, so we got two different types of music playing at the same time. <laughs> I got homework that I'm doing on economics. I'm writing notes on economics for the homework. And then I'm going to do questions on the economics. Oh, oh, and I'm also reading to you guys. Oh, there's just so many things going on in this episode. This is so scuffed, but it's not really. Your boy's, uh, your boy's, uh, uh, what do you want? What do I say? A tri-tasker. Oh, so funny, guys. Am I going to win this battle? Is it no, it's going to be that easy. Surely not, right? Oh, as soon as I say that, as soon as I say that. <laughs> yeah, duh. Oh, wait. What's this one? Every time I hear drums, I'm like, <gasps> oh, God, I, I absolutely hate. I don't hate it, but I got so frustrated at Sugarland Shimmy when I played that a while back. I absolutely hate that boss fight. Absolutely hate it. Trigger the hell out of me. So frustrating. Um, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the uh, the cake boss. I think it was. I'm pretty sure it was a cake. I know that it was extremely frustrating. I might have done a playthrough of. Uh, I think I did it. I think I tried to do a playthrough of Cuphead on the channel, but it was using a scuffed version of it. And so I don't never. I don't think I ever finished it. Uh, so yeah. Um. 
Oh no, I was defeated. No, my streak. My viewer retention. <laughs> uh, okay, we'll do ailment. The great thing about me spending a lot of time on this homework is this is this is the homework that's due today. Uh, like it's not it's not my big Hamlet homework, but you know, it is a homework, and that's really what matters. They're going to be straight up with y'all. If I did the Hamlet homework in this episode, then last episode um would have had a sequel, and we don't we folks, and, I, and I'm just gonna be honest. Who likes sequels? Am I right? <laughs> nobody, nobody likes sequels. <laughs> Prequels is where it's at, you know. I will continue battles in a minute. to hit an hour. Damn. Uh, let's do debuff. No, we'll do buff. Okay, let me read. <clears throat> a consequence of scarcity. The need for a, ra uh, uh, for a rationing device. Or a rationing device. Um, no, ration. Rationing device. Because scarcity exists, we need a rationing device. Some way to decide who gets what portion of all the resources and goods available. In U.S. society, what is the most common way to determine who gets which goods and how much each person gets? If you guessed money, you're on the right track. Price, a certain number of dollars, is the most widely used rationing device in the U.S. society. If you are willing and able to pay the price for something, it is yours. If you are either unwilling or unable to pay the price, it won't be yours. By using price, all products are rationed out to the people who are willing and able to pay for them. If scarcity did not exist, a rationing device would not be necessary. Everyone would get everything he or she wanted. Man, that sounds like chaos. Jester, wow, that's a thing. I want to get Braver 3, man. Uh, how do I get there? Oh, I'm so close. I'm like 100 away. I'm like two battles away, right? Oh, man. If, imagine if I get... That'd be really cool. Uh, okay, let's do kill again. Because heal is a bit lucky. Heal gives me luck. Alright. Uh, we're gonna... We're, look, there's not that much left to read. So I might as well just read to the end. Um, also, our Mark Pog. <laughs> uh, another consequence of scarcity. Competition. Today's world is very competitive. People compete for jobs, companies compete for profits, and students compete for grades. That is true, I guess. Um, an anime, I mean. I mean, students competing for grades, like, look, I haven't seen that much. I haven't seen it. I haven't really seen that, you know, I haven't experienced 
other people do that. Um, but you know, I've seen an anime. So whoever wrote this book might might have watched some anime, folks. That's pretty pretty poggers. But if people actually do if students actually do that in real life, I mean that's cool, but still like how? What? Really? Like, huh? Also, <clears throat> before I do anything else. Before I continue reading. Uh, I need to write down my final definition. Economics. It's logistics economics. Echo. Oh, dude, I'm so close. I'm like three or four battles away. From, um, from Braver 3. So cool. Dude, we're like two battles away. Let's keep it up with the heel train. All right. We're going to finish reading this reading this whole thing and then I'll uh and then I just got to answer some questions and we're good. <sighs> okay. Economists uh economists believe uh that competition exists because of scarcity. If enough resources were available to satisfy all our wants, then people would not have to compete for limited resources. Economists, economists also believe that competition takes the form of people trying to get more of the rationing device. If price, that is, money or dollars, is the rate is the rationing device, people will compete to earn dollars. People compete to earn dollars every day. Suppose three people are up for the same promotion at their business firm. Why do they want the promotion? Certainly, Added prestige and responsibility might be part of the answer, people are, but people are more likely to seek and accept promotions that come with more money. Suppose something other than price, muscular strength, for example, were used as the rationing device. Rationing device. People with more muscular strength would receive more resources and goods than people with less muscular strength. I mean, look, I I can agree with that. That that is a thing. I have I have seen that happen. Lunch yes. bully anyone? <laughs> School bully anyone? Not not me, because I uh, I don't think I was bullied, unless I was, and I just don't remember, because that's how traumatized I am. I'm I'm just so traumatized by my uh. By a past that I don't even know about. That I, I, I don't even know about. <laughs> uh, in this scenario, an economist will uh, would predict that people would compete for muscular strength and lift weights each day. The lesson is simple. Whatever the rationing device, people will, oh, people, <laughs> people will compete for it. See Exhibit 1-3 for a summary of the concept described in this section. Uh, dude, we got Braver 3. Have we ever gotten Braver 3? Uh, I think we have, but it's been like, it's been a, it's been a few hundred episodes. <laughs> yeah, it's been a few hundred episodes since we got Braver 3. Oh, that's so cool. We might just do this for the next few episodes. I'm gonna be honest. Oh. It, it'd be, it'd be really symbolic because, uh,
Because, I, you know, here's what I think, right? These past ten episodes represent what Memory of is all about. And, uh, you know, majority of it is, is just studying. It's just me studying. <laughs> Dude, 40 wins, 22 defeats. 64% win rate. And I had five streaks. Or I have a streak of five. Dude, I just keep going with them heels, huh? Dude, are the heels like my lucky thing? This is the last time I'm doing a heel. Let me see it actually play out. Oh, no, 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 I'm just gonna read. Because we win, we win if I talk about economics. A definition of economics. In this section, you learned about three important and closely related economic concepts. Scarcity, choice, and opportunity cost. You also learned something about the way economists think about the world. So, now it's time for a formal definition of the term economics. Economics is the science that studies the choices people make as they try to satisfy their wants in a world. Uh, in a world of scarcity. Put another way, you could say that uh, economics is the study of how people use their limited resources to satisfy their unlimited wants. And with that, folks, that's it. That's all of section one red, I think. Yeah. Pog. Okay, now I have to do like a million and one questions. Also, I am not gonna win. <laughs> Yeah, my my heel streak ran out quick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that was What was that party, dude? That was a good party. Okay, Alfia Zard win. Damn. Good team. We can just copy teams. That's pretty cool actually. What's their team? What's a... SMH, all these rushers from Iris. <laughs> no game, no life. Oh, they're familiars in No Game, No Life. That's so cool. Second class adventure. Who was my adventure thing again? I'm also second class, ain't I? But I'm an S rank, ain't I? Man's an E rank, but also level 4, so... Mm. Um. Okay. Should we want to continue then? How how long until? How long until we get to a uh, braver two? Ooh. That's a while. Um. It's like ten battles or something. Ooh. Hmm. Do I want to continue? I mean, I guess I should until I finish up uh, all this homework and stuff, right? Uh. Actually, how how far are we from finishing the soundtrack? Uh, we're a bit far away. Now, you know what, folks? Um, for the sake of sakes, we're gonna end it off here because. We're gonna end it off here. Oh, man, what a what a good oh, what a good episode. It's an hour, solid hour. Yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna continue recording because my my phone's starting to heat up. Um. Yeah. Okay, that was fun. Oh, uh, I gotta answer all those questions off camera, so that's gonna be fun. Um, they're a bit complicated as I just skim through them. Uh, but I like complex problems because then I can write an entire essay for each one. <laughs> anyway, thank you all for watching episode 996. It's crazy. We're very, very close to the possible finale. Ooh. Um, yeah, I'm gonna... Try to finish up this homework. Maybe, maybe I'll take a break, guys. Maybe I'll take a, a bit of a break because I kind of just spent an hour on this stuff. Maybe I'll watch some. Maybe I'll watch some Tommy in it. But I, I don't know. Anyway, <sighs> we got to Braver Three. Maybe we'll pick this up tomorrow. Who knows? Anyway, I got some us for watching in an episode of Thamaji Memo of Wheeze, and. Uh, I'll see you, I see y'all in the next episode. Uh...
Sayonara.